it's much more than just a headscarf workshop. It's an opportunity to meet new people, to share stories and to share what you're going through in a fun and a supportive environment. To be honest, the first time it was suggested to me I might like to come along, I said no, I didn't think so. I was nervous that all went the minute I walked through the door. They come in very quiet, start off with a little bit uncomfortable maybe, but half an hour into the workshop I'm having to tell them to keep the noise levels down. <laughs> I will start by showing you some easy ways with scarves. Tie it in a bow in the back. You'll all have a chance to actually try doing these things and we'll be here to help you and guide you. My daughter comes with me because she, she just likes to support me. And it's quite nice to have her there. She cheers me up. <laughs> this is what it's meant to be about, sort of having a fun morning, giving yourself a little bit of confidence to go out and conquer the world. <laughs> I didn't think I was actually going to be the model, so obviously I wasn't really 100% confident with taking my turban off. The session went on, I felt a bit better. Well, especially when you see people that have had their hair and it's grown back. Because losing your hair is well, it was my worst nightmare. Amanda hold and eat your heart out. <laughs> I tried the fringe thing and I thought it looked lovely. <laughs> I enjoy working with people, seeing them come in and go out with a smile on their faces, having a lot more confidence. Everybody was very friendly and everybody's so kind and people, strangers, come to you and smile. So it was nice to meet other people with different kinds of cancer and to uh, hear their stories and they were very open and to see how positive they all are. Everyone was amazing. It's, it's such a supportive group. Oh, yes, <laughs> <laughs> I found it really uplifting 